Hi Kate, thanks Hi, for coming Kate. today. You're welcome. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? I joined the Women's Royal Army Corps um, back as a fresh-faced 18-year-old, did six years service, um, came out, had a family. So what's it been like for you since you left? Um, it's not been great because um, I ended up a single mum of two daughters. I then um, went on to have another baby and that left me, the birth went horrendously wrong and that basically left me disabled for the last 12 years. Hi Fred, can you tell us a bit about yourself? I had a bike accident about 18 months ago and I shattered my wrist. Um, and I got a metal plate in my wrist and some screws to hold it all together. And it took a very long time to heal, but um, after that I ended up where I wasn't working. I had no more savings left, so it was either stay where I was and getting lots of debt, or go and stay with my mum who was actually poorly because she had cancer last year anyway, and, to, and look after her. So I went to my mum's then last year, for, I was there for about seven months until she passed away. And, at that point, uh, I hadn't been there long enough for the council to actually let me stay uh, with the Housing Association anyway. Um, so I effectively ended up homeless and living in my van. And then obviously, like four or five months, four months later or so, three, four months later, I ended up being in touch with the British Legion and hence I'm here. So what does this project mean to you? It means a lot because um, the house I'm in at the moment isn't terribly suitable. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm grateful to be housed, obviously. But it's a three-storey house, I have problems with my knees and my back, and it's not the greatest. I, I sometimes can't make it all the way up to the top um, storey to go to bed. So I end up kicking on the sofa, which isn't ideal for my back. Um, it's going to be training, new skills, hopefully, um, actually getting hands-on with the building work and helping with you know, anything from bricklaying to um, putting up shelves and electricals and all that sort of thing, which, which is going to be great. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll all go well. I think the idea of trying to actually build a community at the same time as you build the project is a wonderful idea, you know, actually um, all of the people that you're building with will be your neighbours, so you'll actually know everybody around you. The fact is that you're going to work with these people, you're going to get to know them, and then eventually when it's all built, you're going to be working together, so I think it, you know, you're, you're going to actually end up, you should end up with some friends for life, shouldn't you? you know, I think that's the, one of the best things about it. It's not nice living on benefits, it, it's you just exist. And I'd like to, you know, have the opportunity to give my children nice things, basically, and, you know, maybe get the odd little nice thing for myself along the way, who knows? But I'm really, really grateful for the opportunity, and Ken and Carl and Lynn at the Breakfast Club and Martin at RBL. I just, I can't thank them enough, really. I think it's, there's a, a lot of opportunity for training along the way, and I think the idea is that no matter what you want to do, they'll try and find something that's relevant to you to actually give you some proper qualifications at the end of it so I think that's a very good worthwhile aim as well. There's a, there's a sense of um, stability as well hopefully that will come with these houses. So, yeah I'm really really looking forward to it.